Hi, I'm back, and yeah, we found Black Cauldron. We can ask about blessings. We can swap a blessing for some equipment. Yep. Let's see what we have to offer. The man says, revealing a hidden stash of items. I'll show you the good stuff, since you clearly aren't an Imperial Stooge. Okay, give me that, maybe. Okay, get two items. Good. And I have the Empire bur Burden. There's that as well. We only need to find. <laughs> This is third store I found so far, so yeah. We need to find the red queen. Please tell me it's here somewhere. I don't think I changed my word. Yeah, I did. Right. Please don't steal my artifact. Anything else but not that. I have a nice armor. Boring. Okay, this is good. Oh, so sorry for this. I don't see a thing. Him. Not such a nice goblin. And that's it. Proven yourself worthy. Notice it anyway. Feast. Yes. Try not to be too greedy. There is much to be gained, but gluttony gets us nowhere. Okay, so we can swap companion in the middle of the that's very nice. Okay, but where the hell is Where is the Rat Queen? And I want to swap for this. No, I'm not giving you any gold because I need to buy food. <laughs> well, I don't think I need it, but... It's better to have some food than none. Leave Goblins are here. Sir, 
seriously. On my mark. And he stole my weapon. I said yes, child. but let me see the queen There's your... Oh, where is it? Here's your artifact. Yep. You place the artifact at the sealed ear's feet. The rat pulls at it before pushing it into a box at her side. It's true about again. The sealed ear doesn't appear to notice and exits the cave. It will take some days for her to craft the upgrade. Well upgrade. done. Nice. Meanwhile, we should head west. Captain Belmer is leading a scouting party there. He is an old ally and good friend. He may be convinced to help defend for water. And what does the captain need? I may just go to the wiki to prepare for the water. So once again, be right back, and I'll see you. And I will see you. I will see you when we're with the captain. Okay, so here we are. Allies and enemies. It is all a matter of time. Estrella meets with her old friend and ally, Captain Belmer, hoping to get him to send the town for water against the Empire. It will be a hard sell, but he will do what? What I just? What is just? That I know. A bearded man with a bright smile waves as you approach. Belmer! Estrella embraces the man, two old friends. I will waste no time, I'm here to. Estrella stops in her tracks. Belmer's troops have captured an ogre. The creature struggles against the chains as the soldiers taunt it with their weapons. What is the meaning of this? Stand down! Estrella strides forward and Belmer's soldiers brandish their swords at her. Usual business, Belmer chuckles. I've been assigned to sweep the swords of any undesirable, such as this ogre, or Nordness. Belmer draws his polished sword and pokes at the ogre, drawing some blood. Belmer! Estrella's face remains stern, but her voice shakes as she challenges her old friend. Think about what you're doing! The land is filthy, Fayor! Captain Belmer frowns. The Emperor will wills it. It will end this creature's abominable life, and we can put all this behind us. Estrel glances from the trained ogre to Captain Belmer, her old friend and ally. I won't let you do this. Ooh, that's a lot. But 
she's right, we won't let you kill Presumably Thomas. Estrella's old friend and fellow Imperial Captain Belmer commands respect. Okay. I hate that it hey, comes chill. to this. To come to this, it has. So, like a game first note. God damn it. Get up, get up, get up. We may die. We are not going to. You are unclear who landed the final blow. Estrella lays the soldiers' bodies out side by side, with their swords on their chest and lights a single fire. The ogre watches Estrella carefully as she removes his bindings. Her eyes are wet, but her face is set in grim determination. Freed, the ogre hefts his discarded club over one shoulder in preparation for a mighty overhead blow. Then things better of it. Thou hast saved me from the maw of death. A boon I owe unto you. Estrella and the great ogre exchange a bow. I ask you to fight in the battle for, for water. We plan to defend it against the Empire. A strange set you have put together. Yep. I hope it suffices. Against the Empire, the ogre brings menacingly teeth jutting in at all angles. Thou ask of me what I would most enjoy. And the next one will be... Come on. I don't care. Show me two. Battle for, for water. So again, be right back. Sunset you meet with Estrella in town. The Empire draws close. Tonight we move against the approaching army. You return to the Elder Queen once more. The last queen of the sealed ears presses something into your hands. May rivers fill with blood, she hisses. Empire's ruin. Empire's of 50 damage and slow lasts longer. In a small square by the abandoned town hall, Estrella addresses the people of foul water. Her news is grim. If their defense fails, they will have little choice but to abandon the town. The residents mutter nervously as she continues. Prepare provisions and your animals. Should we not return, you will have only days to take what you can carry and leave. The peasant king, his leather cap decorated with a somber black feather, wishes you luck in the battle. Behind him sits a small group of farmers armed with pitchforks and rusty guns. They would like to fight with you. He presses his hands to your forehead and all at once becomes very solemn. May the rivers of full water call you home safe by harvest. Finally, you run the ruse with Millet the ogre outside the town. The far water farmers are surprisingly calm inside of the town monster. They may be numb from the nerves. 
The ogre observes a far water present, clutching a pitchfork and shakes his great, gruesome head. Doth thy battle ya wish us with death? With all preparation done, Captain Estrella Fayor turns to you. Are you ready to take on the Incan Empire army? Yep. Estrella nods. You are a worthy soldier. Do not let that leave you. No matter how high you climb in this life, courage in the face of doom is what counts. Always keep the head over heart of the soldier. Now ready yourself. We may not make it out of this alive. Estrella leads you ragtag band to the band of bank of Great River. Nightmare Holt heads the legion. He plans to march on four water at dawn. If we can reach him before then, the town may be saved. You run into a squad of Empire soldiers, perhaps a scouting group from the main army. We'll use the peasants in this fight. Continue. Okay, continue. We should be fine with it, only a straw. Unless they give us like 30 seconds <laughs> to fight them. Four minutes, okay. On my mark! With the soldiers dispatched, Estrella leads you deeper into the forest. Further in, you encounter a scouting party of Emperor soldiers. The Empire Burden is not Wait, it wasn't the burden. What was that? Uh, not downfall. I, okay, I... No. Two arms! How much health do these guys have? I don't know how many more battles we have to fight before we get there. I hope it's not five. The soldiers dispatch Australia to deeper into the forest. We find a small clump of Empire soldiers settling down for their evening meal. They drop their stuffed apples as they burst for the foliage. Okay, we'll get the peasants this time. Not the ogre. We need ogre for the final fight. Peasants. With the soldiers dispatched, Australia is deeper into the forest. 
Here, she stops at the side of a camp fly empire colors. We've reached the Imperial Command Center. Night Mountain Hold is here. A figure resplendent in heavy armor pushes, pushes through the soldiers. He's taken aback at the sight of Stella. Well, it seems I've lost a bet. I wagered you have died in the debacle in the old city. Night Mountain Hold smirks. You have fallen far, Fire. Do you really think this well? She gestures to you. Knows what's best for this land? We need unity. We need strength. Rubble like this seek, our, seek to tear us apart. Estrella's confidence falters as she stares at the Empire banners. The banners that she used to fight for. I do not want to kill you, Mohold. I do not want to kill these soldiers here. But if you do not stand down, I will kill you all. The soldiers arrayed behind Night Moon hold grip their weapons and glance nervously about. The Emperor wants unity at the cost of those unlucky enough to be born in the way of his, of his progress. Stroud draws her sword and pistol. And if he will not stop, I will kill him too. You prepare for the fight. Of course I'll call Millet here. Leading the march on full water, night moon. If it be treason to stand for what is right, then I am a traitor now. Let yeah, I you probably should be a traitor from the beginning. To arms! Wait, okay. This is done for. With Night Moon hold dealt with, we can no longer send the world to march on full water. The village will be saved. For now. Estrella wipes the blood from her sword. The faded empire tattooed her arm, flexing with each swift movement. This is high treason. From here on, I am no empire captain, not even an empire soldier. What will become of you? Most of the empire rubble do not know my face, so I will be saved, by and large. Uh, once the once water just gets out, the soldiers that recognize me would be ordered to kill me inside. Ha! <laughs> Let them know. Let them know that Captain Estra for your stands against the Emperor. And what will become of full water? The Emperor's armies are vast as the ocean. They will come again for this stronghold, but far water will be safe for a time. They will only truly be safe when the Emperor ends its war on the north. I'm not a young woman anymore. The world is a darker place than I once felt I have become a place of the return to full water is real deep in thought. At last she speaks. I must spend my youth fighting for the glory of a cold and uncarry empire. I will spend the rest of my days fighting to dismantle it. No matter how doomed that endeavor may be. You have saved a town, but you cannot Yay. save the empire this way. Oh. You must finish what what I started. We have started. What we have, of course. But why are you not here to help me? You should be here to help me. You, the dealer. Ugh. And that is the end of Estra's story. Next time we will try to do cubies, I think. Sorry. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!